Now I did mention that the um, cards left to right aren't the same. So what I've been doing is I used the original template, modified it to cut this shape. Now the um, this so happens that that the uh, what's this one the door lock handle is in a slightly different position on this this side, and um, there are differences around the um, the top around the, the lock section. So I've recut this. I've spent some time shaping it to fit the door. It's um, now very close. A little bit of trimming to do across the top, not much. I've got the position for the, the locking um, catches on the back of the door there. I've drilled the um, positions for the, the screws that will hold the card to the door. So all that's done. And on this card I've used a, a much larger hole around the, uh, the door lock there so I can get the pin in. So. Uh, that should be um, a lot better to get in than it was on the other side. So what I'm about to do now is to uh, go and start covering this in vinyl. So uh, it's um, certainly taken some time to do this, but it's um, necessary to ensure that I don't have to modify anything later on, which just, just becomes a, more of a problem to do. It was a lot easier doing this second one in terms of covering it, um, but still took about the same amount of time. I've got a larger hole in here um, because I couldn't get the um, the door pin in, uh, door handle pin in, so I've made a larger hole in that. So that's a bit different. Other than that, everything else is the same. Obviously, the door cards a different size, um, so it wasn't a case of using templates from the last one. Um, I've done the same thing, I've covered the uh, the um, wood with, with this vinyl and put a, a thin lining of uh, wadding underneath between the wood and the vinyl so it gives it a nice soft texture. Um, the uh, part I've now been working on is the uh, the pocket. This is the pocket. Uh, same as before. The um, this piece here, or these two pieces, are the outside of the pocket. Now, um, probably recall from the previous one that this has a piping across the top, which has um, got hidden um, seams on it. So I've actually got a uh, sew that together so I've got the piping done got these two pieces done so uh, I need to do that but before I do that I need to make some piping to go around the, the hole so I'll, um, I'll do that next uh, that just uses the uh, material same material on the face of this the pockets, as I've said before, uses a slightly different texture. Colour is much the same, but uh, texture is a little different. Um, so uh, that, um, once I've done the piping, I'll sew that uh, piece of piping into the top of this. Then I'll attach this to the uh, the card and. Then I'll make up the rear piece uh, that go, covers all of that. So it's progressing nicely. As I say, um, easier to, to do it when you know what you're doing and how things come together and how you've actually got to cut this vinyl to go around the, the shape. Um, but it still takes quite a lot of time. And it's the gluing and the you know, tacking and gluing um, which I've done. It, it, it's a long process. The um, remove the tacks at this stage, so I'll uh, be able to uh, get a nice clear surface to be able to put this piping in, because that's got to be tacked in as well and glued. 
And then once the glue goes off, I remove the tacks. So there's still a fair way to go with this, but um, it's uh, proceeding uh, quite uh, quite well. Now I've got um, all this tacked in and glued, so that's the outer side of the pocket, on the other side of course, the wadding, and this is the inside of the pocket. Um, what I'm going to do is, not tacking this, I'm just going to staple this with a staple gun, and then I'm going to put the which is really the final piece of the pocket, the backing, and I'll do the same with that. I'll, I'll staple that in. <coughs> um, no need to glue it. The staple gun should be fine because I'll put quite a few staples around there. It'll hold it quite well. So uh, I'll just start stapling. It's going to be a little bit noisy, a bit of hiss from the from the airline and as well as uh, a lot of noise when this goes off so uh, I'll just show how how easy it is to do um, if you make a mistake you can prise the staples out um, so that's not so much of a problem but um, the case is you've actually got to try and stretch everything to get it to fit right so anyway I should be able to do that. And the other thing is to make sure you staple into the wood and not straight through the the, uh, the fabric itself. So you've actually got to feel with your fingers to find out where the edge is. Um, I'll uh, staple this fairly close to the piping on the other side. I'll just connect this up. Well, all I'm doing at the moment is just trying to stretch it and get it in position. I will put more staples in. Now stapling is of course a lot quicker than tacking, um, you don't hit your end of your thick fingers on the uh, hammer either. Um, that's gone in quite well. Pocket is nice and tight, a little bit of spring on the top where the elastic is. Now what I've got to do is just put the, the cover which is really the rear of the pocket. Once again, making sure I've got the, the uh, thing in position.
Okay. As I say, a lot quicker with a staple gun. The um, to do all of that with tacks would have taken me well over an hour by the time I uh, stretched and tried to tack them in because I um, it's a bit awkward, particularly with my fingers, to hold the small tacks. The other thing is that the tacks are a little bit long. They probably just go through the, the timber. I couldn't get any shorter tacks. This is about a 7mm thick timber and the tacks are about about that or a little bit longer. So there's a chance you'll actually go through. It's alright when I've tacked some of these on the um, on the cord at the top there because the, the cord has lifted it up above the timber so they're fine. But uh, yes, the staple gun's very quick. Finished product, that's all done. Um, so I'm quite quite pleased with that. Now what I've got to do is to put the carpet piece on the bottom. So uh, I'll start looking around for the piece of aluminium, clean that up, and um, cut some carpet ready to uh, to put that in. That screws in, of course. Um, don't need the staple gun for that. I will need to make some piping around in there. So uh, it's back to the uh, sewing machine. I've now got the component parts for this bottom section, the carpet. Just cut the carpet out. I've cut that basically to the exact size of the hole, even though the edges of that will be covered up by the piping when I put that in. It's the aluminium piece that goes behind that this is actually glued to. It goes up that way. It's glued to that and that fits up underneath. Uh, not ready to do that yet, of course, because I have to put the piping in. Um, I'll just do that now. I'll, I'll tack that in and glue it and wait till the glue sets. Um, once that's set, I'll then run some staples around just to hold that. And then this piece will be screwed over the top. Um, but before I do that, I also have to put some edging on here. And I'll show how I do that. Um, just got to sew an edge along there um, before I put that in. So a few things to do, but first of all I'll just tack and glue this piece in and then I'll work on the on the carpet section. Now I'm putting vinyl edging on the carpet so it doesn't uh, fray. You can see where I've cut it here on the top edge and you can actually pull the, the carpet out so I don't want that on the finished uh, product. So I've got to run a, a couple of stitches across this to, uh, to be able to fold it over and around the, the edge. So I'll just uh, start the machine up and I'll slowly do this. Now what I've got to be able to do is to fold this around and under and come back the other way. I'll have to do this slowly. In fact it might even be better to do it without the machine on.
Right, that's the way it should look on the bottom. It basically seals off the edge of the carpet and uh, this can now just fit under the under the piping. And I'll show how I do that. I've just got to finish this off a little bit. The thread needs to go to the end. I just need to put it back in the machine and and sew it. So uh, I'll just do that next, but uh, I don't need to show that. I've screwed the carpet piece in place. Um, the only thing I needed to uh, uh, to get that held down properly is a couple of small clamps um, just in there to hold that down because the carpet is actually pushing the uh, the piping out on the other side so um, that's done. Another important thing you might recall that when I did the door card I actually mounted the door card to the to the door so I, I drilled the position of the screw holes and so on um, and lined everything up. Now the importance of that is to make sure you've got everything perfectly aligned and, and it fits the door. But the problem you can encounter is if you forget you've drilled those holes and um, haven't marked where they are, once you put the vinyl on, for the most part most of the holes are likely to be covered. Uh, as in the case here, I think there was only one that wasn't covered on the other side. So what I do is I actually mark on the timber um, the directional line which I've got there pointing to where the hole would be. And I've done that with these one, two, three, there are four holes on this side for the screws to go through. Now if you don't mark that you've got no idea where they are and the problem with that is that it's not just a case of oh, I'll just drill new ones because when you drill new ones through the vinyl particularly if it's got wadding underneath what happens is the drill catches in the wadding and it just knots up pretty much like that exaggerated a bit and you end up with a big lump under the vinyl um, which you can't get out so you ruin the finish on the other side so you've actually got to drill those holes before the vinyl and then work out where they are so you can remake the holes through the vinyl. And I do that with a just a pick here. I've done that one. So I know the hole is on that line. All I do is just pick, 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 pick until I find the, the hole and then push that through. And uh, so push it right through. That gives me the position of the hole on the other side. So with this one here I haven't done that so I've just got to work Oh, there it is there. Well, that was easy. So that one was easy to find. So that, it's a lot easier just to poke that through. It doesn't catch on the wadding and provides a clean, clean hole through. And then all I do is on this side just mark where the, where the hole um, actually is. So just to repeat it again. This one here, the hole is somewhere along that line. There. And just push that through. The only thing you might have, uh, problem you might have is if you put your finger in the way and jab that right into your finger, you'll certainly know where the hole was. But that's cleaned that hole out. So just a just a reminder. Um, if you don't, you've got a real problem trying to reproduce that a new hole um, because, as I say, the drill just will not um, go through the wadding because it just knots up and uh, causes even more problems. So anyway, I'll just continue marking the last couple of holes. Um, not much to do on this now. I'm uh, just going to put these uh, metal tabs which um, I use to hook onto the door frame, one there and one there. 
I've got those in the garage. So this card is pretty much finished. Still got to do the hole for the um, door handle and the winder, but I'll only do that when I, I take it to position it on the car. Um, you can probably can't see this on the camera, but I can actually see where the hole has come through on this side. It's actually pushed a little bit of wadding through the hole. Uh, that's the hole there. I'm just ready to put the, the screw and the, and the cup under the screw. And then, because I've pre-drilled those when the car was on the door, or when the timber uh, from the car was on the door, they'll actually line up with the holes in the door frame. And that one there has poked the wadding through. So, as I say, just there'd be a lot of problems if you've gone to all the trouble of do all of this, and then you can't find where the holes were. And then you've got to try and drill it, and you'll end up messing up the, the job you've done. All right, I'll go and uh, just finish that couple of holes off, and then I'll try and get this onto the door frame. Now this uh, card also actually attached quite well. Once again, the, uh, the secret to that is to line up the screws and things before you put the vinyl on so uh, they all went uh, in quite well it's um, once again as with the other card I'm not uh, permanently fixing it because I've yet to do the um, the window uh, frame rubbers so uh, I need to be able to get behind that and adjust the frame but um, it's, uh, it's gone on quite well just a couple of clips to put in the card just to hold that in under the timber but uh, I'll leave that till later as well now it's hard to get the light uh, right in this I've been trying to get some light to show what it looks like it's um, the upholstery's come together nicely the, uh, the red is really good against the timber the uh, bit I'm going to do next still moving forward but there are on these posts there are covers now I've got the original ones of those I'm not too sure whether the timber underneath is any good so I've got to uh, go into the other workshop and start pulling them apart um, I uh, just need to be careful uh, once again there's a timber piece underneath and it's um, screwed into the uh, into the pillar so I need to get those uh, holes properly aligned before I uh, think about covering them so uh, I'll just go in the other workshop and start pulling them apart and see what what condition they're in Now these are the two covers off the car. The uh, not sure what the timber looks like yet. It may be rotten on the bottom end, I think, which means I've probably got to replace it. But I'll uh, won't know till I take all this off. Um, not an overly complicated piece. The only uh, thing I've got to be mindful of, seeing I've been replacing all the upholstery. Um, when I uh, <coughs> remake these I've actually got to fit any new timber to what I've already put in because obviously this end here goes onto the floor um, that's on the floor and this end will go up and meet the um, um, cover strips on the uh, headlining on the edge of the headlining so um, I, uh, because I've played around with that, there's a good chance that the, uh, the length of this won't be uh, quite the same. But anyway, everything else, other dimensions would be fine, the width and so on, general shape. Um, 
it's so not complicated they've used um, I don't know what that is it's, it's not a vinyl it's more of a cloth um, now that is a um, a piping that goes right adjacent to the door opening so it's a basically a draft excluder I might be able to use the piping in this I think it's probably rubberized of some sort so I might reuse that rather than replace it uh, this stage um, this cover here will be the same vinyl on the doors this not sure whether I'll make it exactly the same or maybe I'll use the uh, the vinyl that I've got for the uh, door pockets which is a slightly different texture I don't know yet I'll, I'll look at how that uh, works so uh, anyway at this stage I've got to pull these apart uh, and see what I'm dealing with see whether I can reuse these um, uh, bits of piping so I'll have to be careful when I pull this off once again it's used tacks to hold that in place it has one, two, three um, screws to locate it under the pillar. Now they're threaded, probably Whitworth or something like that. Um, um, probably a, a thread that I can't um, find a replacement for. The, uh, the heads are, well, they may have been chrome, but they're rusted now. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that, whether I replace the, um, the bolts with a metric uh, bolt, retap the post, so I'll, um, I'll think about that as well. Certainly I can't put those on as they are because they're, um, they're rusted on the end, some are worse than others, but, um, so I'll have to look at that, but uh, I need to be mindful that I've got to use the same spacing for these um, holes to make sure that uh, the alignment works when I've covered and try and screw them in place. So anyway, I'll start pulling them apart. Didn't take long to pull them apart. These are the uh, weather strip pipings. They're rubber and uh, the end of it's hollow. Um, I can reuse that. I might uh, wipe it over with something to uh, make sure it stays supple. It seems pretty good. Um, both of both of the uh, doors, uh, door posts, are uh, in the same condition, so <coughs> those seals can be reused. The timber, unfortunately, both of them. Uh, rotten at the bottom end so obviously water's uh, damaged all of that from from there down so that's going to have to be remade on both sides it's a plywood what's it uh, one two three four five about a six ply uh, probably can't get the same size I'm not sure there I've got any timber in the other garage that I could use uh, otherwise it's a trip to the hardware store um, this uh, may not be able to get something to get an exact match to the thickness but I'll, I'll get something close so both of those have got to be replaced um, and the key to replacing those is to get these holes alignment holes right so I'll be very careful with that the um, pieces that I've taken off this is the cover, cover for the piping um, came off well so I've got a, a good template for the replacement for that um, and this vinyl has given me a template for the replacement of that, that as well I'm probably going to damage it when I open it up but I can at least take measurements of it so so that's good so it's, I've got a lot to work with in terms of uh, making replacements but they will be complete replacements except for the, uh, the seals. So at least something goes back on the car.
Now I've made a new timber base for the uh, cover. Uh, this is solid timber and it's not um, not plywood like the original. But um, it was actually the right size. Maybe a little bit thicker than the original but not by that much. I've drilled the um, three position bolts, the holes for those. And I've just put the old bolts in place to make sure everything um, lines up. Now that piece of timber is against a, a door pillar that's actually slightly concave so it needs those um, bolts to pull um, the timber in tight against the curve of the um, uh, alloy post there. So that now fits, it's uh, shaped okay, it's fitting okay over the, the web on the bottom of the uh, um, door post there. So now I'll go and um, start covering it uh, with some vinyl. Stapled on, but when I've mounted it on the uh, door pillar, I've encountered another problem. And the problem is that um, the door cards that I've made are thicker than the original uh, because of the timber I've used. And the result of that is when they push against the, uh, the piping, it's actually um, um, jamming. Now the reason it's, well, two reasons it's jamming. One is the the timber is thicker, so it's sticking out further. And the second is the rubber, that's the original rubber in the piping, has actually gone hard, so it's got uh, no ability to compress. So the result is that um, I can't actually close the door, uh, well not easily, I can close it, but um, it's pushing very hard against the the piping and it's tending to push the um, the pillar piece across. So uh, it's back to the drawing board with the piping. Now I've just removed the piping altogether. The um, I've shut the door. The two surfaces are actually pressed hard against each other. So the door card. A thicker door card and the uh, pillar cover are very tight, a very tight fit. So I really can't fit any piping in there, and it's also quite tight up near the um, the timber there as well. So uh, really, um, I know the original design had it, but this design doesn't, or well, certainly doesn't need it. Uh, and I th the reason being is I've used a much thicker timber in the door card so it's coming out further and and sealing against the pillar there or against the uh, the timber cover on the pillar so uh, I won't be uh, putting that piping in um, that piece on the side that's the old piping I took out I just need to pull that strip off now um, so that strip is done I just need to work on what I've got to do for the the cover up in here. Just turn the light up a bit. It goes alongside the uh, the window, so I've got to work out um, the design for that, so it's sufficient to cover the the actual rubber door seal as well and provides support behind it so uh, I'll just uh, start uh, designing that